What's up folks? We are here at Casino Pier on the Pirates Hideaway ride and let's go for a ride. And with that, I welcome you to the latest edition of the A Walk in the Park podcast. I'm your host, Pat McKay, joined again by my little brother, Sean. Say hello. And we did get full permission from the ride-up before we did take that picture, so, and there we are. Oh, no, uh, it's video, don't worry about it. And uh, we're here at Casino Pier. Now let's go for our walk in the park. Now over here we got the Jungle Safari, which is kind of a kiddie attraction, but they actually have it themed decently inside, it looks like. They've got lots of things like this, like I guess a fiberglass statue. They're all over the park. And here's a, an M&M themed funhouse, I guess. Alright, here's the park's wild mouse coaster, which really I thought was just real bad. Sean, your thoughts on the wild mouse? Oh, made my knees hurt. Yeah, so uh, we got a painful review from both of us. Anyway, I hope you like that ride on the Pirates Hideaway. It would be, actually, it could be a cool ride if they had some theming to it, because, I mean, it's got potential. It's got some really neat cars, a nice facade, which I'll show you in a little bit. All right, we're coming up to the corner of the park here. And this is uh, really the best ride in the park, is this coaster over here in the back. I think it's the Jet Star or Star Jet, something like that. Sean, it's your favorite song. Oh, it's a remix. All right, well, we've heard that song about eight times today. That's why I bring it up. Four? Four times, all right. All right, let's just hang out over here and we'll catch the first drop. You really get a great view from up there. I'll stop right here. Anyway, you go up the first lift, then you go over this scenic little pathway, which just by looking at it, it doesn't look right. Like, it looks like there should be another support right in the middle of there. Anyway, you get a nice scenic view of the New Jersey Shore, and then down, down, down you go. Over here to your left is a, uh, an indoor scrambler that's been pretty well. It's got uh, loud music, flashing lights, all, the whole nine yards. So, it's also got a spinning tunnel kind of effect. All right, here's the park's dark ride, uh, Stillwalk Manor, which is uh, just pretty much your average carnival dark ride. Really nothing spectacular. Sean, your thoughts? All right, those are Sean's thoughts. Anyway, the log boom appears to be running, which we've seen it broken at least three or four times in our stay today. Actually, this ride I thought was seen pretty well. It's uh, it's like a Music Express mixed with like a Himalaya or something like that. It's not a ride you see at a lot of places, but they have like four of these. Yeah, but this one, this one's a type that I haven't seen much of. Neat little themed cars and uh, a good flat. And here's the disco, or as I believe the Iowa Central Radio podcast determined it, Brokeback Mountain the Ride, 
And I'm guessing that's because of its very bizarre restraints that it has. You sort of have to straddle this thing, and then something comes up from under your crotch and hits you in the back to lock you in. Jake Joan Hall style. Yeah, very weird. Anyway, the park over here has a, a very cool looking enterprise. Also, everyone out there, be sure to check out the all-new A Walk in the Park blog. It's me. I post things on there just about every day, talking about the amusement industry and all sorts of other stuff. And it's really cool. Check that out at www.awalkintheparkblog.blogspot.com. Anyway, that's cool. A way to expand the A Walk in the Park empire. I think it's uh, really quite the addition. Sean will be viewing the blog every day. Oh, yeah, me too. Tell your friends. Yes, tell your friends. And have them tell their friends. And now, we're coming up on Sean's favorite ride in the park, because at long last, his dreams finally come true. He got to ride up and down on a dick. That's right, Moby Dick. He got to ride up and down, and it gave him quite the feeling in your stomach, didn't it? That works. That works. Yeah, it's Moby Dick. It's your favorite. You rode the dick good. I loved it. He did. He loved that dick. Anyway, here's the park's rock and tug attraction. We don't have. There's some McDonald's around here. There is a large. There's a large chicken over there. What? Large chicken over there. And the park's kitty coaster, which you can ride, and I did. Got the credit, bringing myself up to 271. Go me, go. All right, and I'm gonna just walk out a little bit here so you get a shot of uh, the pirate's hideaway from a little bit farther away. And we'll see you next week at the park.